Hello, yes, all politics is local. I've just received the Tip O'Neill book, it's there on my left, all politics is local. And it's a gold mine of information, strategies and advice, anecdotes, the lot. There's a little bit I've just read now where Tip O'Neill said, or he said about, uh, what was it now, a place, he doesn't mention it, where he was campaigning in. And they had 18 colleges and universities and over 200,000 students. So what was top of the agenda uh, in his political campaign? Education, of course. Not save the white race or make whites great again, Angelo John Gage or Mark Colette, as David Duke says. Uh, the fall of Western man. Oh my God. You know when you're reading that book, in fact, I haven't read it all yet. I'm just scanning through it. You can see where we've been going seriously wrong. He mentions about George Bush, I'm assuming it's senior, his triumph in the Gulf War, but he took his eye off the ball and neglected domestic problems. And look what happened to him. Some of the little one-liners as well. The public don't mind being used. What they do mind is being discarded. And that's true. And a certain person has done that in British nationalism. Whether or not the members will ever forgive him, I don't know. But that's what he's done. He don't mind being used, but he's discarded them. But anyway, that's another video in itself. This book, in fact, he needs to buy a copy and read it. As does all the other nationalist, activist ideologues. Don't waste your time on Dr. David Duke's Jewish supremacism or the fame of a dead man's deed or William Gailey Simpson's Which Way Western Man or Oslo Spangler's Decline of the West. They can't help us in our predicament now. In our 11th hour, the no good to us, right? All them books are okay for historical reasons, I suppose, or whatever. But then they can't help us. I'm sorry, they can't. It's all changed since they wrote them books. That's assuming they even understood the political battleground in the first place. Some of them, to an extent, may have, may have done, but most of them didn't. Dr. William Pierce was one of them. He didn't have a clue, you know. But anyway, I've diverged a bit there. You all need to get that book and read it. And what we need to do to apply that is take the leadership away from Tommy Robinson. Right, and give it back to real nationalists and patriots that can then lead our people with a sensible message, sensible answers. So you see, the people of this country, they don't want the response to Islamist terror with white terror or white confrontation and violence, what Tommy Robinson is offering. They don't want that. They want it. They want their problems answered without all this confrontation. Now, that may not be the case long term, but it is now. Right, we can address this politically. We can go into the little Islamic republics where the forgotten, beleaguered, white working class are still there. Their vote's still there for us. And we can apply what's in that book. And maybe tweak it and change it. And uh, apply it to uh, the present colonisation that they're facing in them areas. As well as local issues and the whole package. But I'm going to read that because I'll tell you, I'll put that into good, good action. Now. I'll put that into good, that's not the word, action. Uh, I'll, I'll put that to good use, maybe that was the word, see I'm not an intellectual, I'm not a speaker, I lose my words now and then, but you know where I'm coming from. So I'll put that to good use in these uh, white working class communities and uh, those in and around the Islamic republics up and down the country. You see our people as well, you know when you think what's been done to them, it's appalling isn't it? These swines need bringing putting before the courts, that's the word, putting before the courts and jailing. I've been driving round uh, Kenya, uh, Kensington, sorry, I've been driving round Kensington with a dash cam, I've got a dash cam now and I've been recording some amazing footage. That place is in a mess. It literally is, and pardon the French, it's a shithole. Trust me, it is. And the forgotten, beleaguered, white working class have been forgotten and left there and they have to put up with the mess these swines have uh, forced upon them. And I'm telling you now, I'm going to run a, an excellent campaign there with an excellent team and an excellent slogan. I'm going to do well there. Really, really well. Trust me, I will. If not winning, I'm going to do well. I'm going to do all I can. And I'm going to show you how it's going to be done. But we must wrest control of the movement from Tommy Robinson. He's the state's boy. He's the spy leading us down a dead end road of violent confrontation. Piss-ups and Witherspoons and all the rest of the rhetoric, that's getting us nowhere. 
And also, Tommy Robinson now has been a media-created cult figure. The cult figure of Tommy Robinson. He doesn't command no political party, no mandate, no elected officials. They've created this cult figure that everyone's now following. The amount of message, Joey, Joey, messages I get, Joey, Joey, Tommy Robinson, I have to tell them, listen, this is not the way forward. And the state knows it's not the way forward. Well, all politics is local. Okay, thank you.